Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes, and this is a WBZ News Update. A bus monitor accused of repeatedly beating a nonverbal child in Methuen and the bus driver who allegedly let it happen were back in court on Friday. Prosecutors say bus surveillance video shows 56-year-old Nancy Vasquez striking the 10-year-old boy and another student. They say the driver, 38-year-old Marlene Cruz, didn't step in or report the incident. Vasquez was released without bail, but she'll remain under house arrest and she'll have to wear a GPS tracker. Cruz was released on personal recognizance. The Northboro Schools Halloween Parade is back on. Leaders canceled the parade earlier this week in a, quote, effort to promote equity and inclusion, unquote. But the superintendent says they got a lot of pushback from parents and they've decided the traditional Halloween parade will continue. And Boston is getting some green to help spread its green. Mayor Michelle Wu announced an $11 million federal grant to bolster the city's tree canopy. The money will be used to enhance tree care, improve sidewalk accessibility, and provide opportunities for young people to get involved in environmental justice. This funding will also help expand the newly created Tree Alliance. That was founded back in May to grow the urban forest in neighborhoods with the fewest numbers of trees. Well, I want to get a check of the weekend forecast now with Alyssa Andrews. And Alyssa, sounds like we, we know something here. It's a familiar pattern. Yes, this will make it the seventh consecutive weekend in a row where we're seeing rain showers. Now, luckily, Sunday's forecasts look much, much better, but we do have rain showers to get through for Saturday. You'll notice the temperatures are going to start to drop off as well. Looking ahead to our future cast as we go into the overnight hours, cloudy and overcast skies, and then waking up for Saturday morning, starting to see some rain showers along a cold front here. So it's not only going to cool us off, but also bring in those showers that we are so used to seeing on the weekends. We could also see eastern Massachusetts along the Cape and Islands get hit a bit heavier depending on the tracking of Philippe and at least what's left of the remnants there and then much drier for Sunday so looking better with more sunshine to wrap up the weekend. Also for Sunday we're going to see some gustier winds picking up but now post-tropical cyclone uh, Philippe here still has the track staying far east of Boston into the Atlantic so that's good news there. We're also going to be talking about a change of cooler air headed our way for this upcoming week ahead so it's been nice to have those unseasonable warm temperatures but that's going to come to an end here soon as well as we get ready for this week ahead with temperatures into the low to mid 60s at least we do stay a little bit drier for this week though so um, some better more fall like weather is ahead all right Alyssa thank you and thank you for being with us this has been a WBZ news update have a great weekend